That's Little Glory here. Welcome back to our channel. Mr. That is as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is going to be a munch pack. It's been a while. Munch pack. Munch pack. For those who are not familiar with Munch Pack, Munch Pack is a monthly subscription. They have three kinds. They got a healthy version, they've got a mixed variety version, which is between healthy and non-healthy I suppose you'd say and then just non-healthy which is what we have because we're not healthy we had to renew our subscription with them so, so that's why it's been a little bit but um so I have a link down below if you want to check it out if you this is these these are products from all over the world and if you don't like that then you wouldn't this subscription would not be for you but you can pick different size packages they have some with just 10 in it some with 12 and so on and so forth <clears throat> excuse me and then you get to pick you know the items that you want them to send you and taste uh, we don't get to they send it to us and it's a surprise every month and we truly appreciate that munch pack thank you so very much for mm -hmm. thinking of us and it's almost always good and letting us tell you our opinion on some of your products so let's go ahead and get started so there you go it opens just like this when you look inside that's how it comes with a cover sheet and so a little grab card. The card tells you who move packed the it. cover sheet form there and then you'll see everything how it's packed in there and this time it was Francis Francis is new to us Nick usually does it or I forget the other one. But Nick I'm, was the main one. Yeah, who always seemed to mm -hmm. fill our boxes for us. But now we have Francis. So thank That's you, Francis. That's the second time I've seen Francis. So. <clears throat> the, on the back it says, enter to win a free family pack. The different steps you have to take. You take a picture, you share it on social media, and then you use the hashtag, hashtag <clears throat> munchpack. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got. What okay. did Francis send us? First item is some Ruffles sour cream and bacon. This is from Canada. It is Ruffle sour cream bacon chips, savory chips with tangy sour cream and and snacky bacon flavor, smoky bacon flavor. That's how it comes. That's what it looks like. All right. How's it smell? It just smells. Smells like potato chips with just a very slight hint of uh, barbecue. Barbecue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. There you go. Just a ruffle potato yep. chip. Looks like a barbecue one. Mm-hmm. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. I don't taste the sour cream very much, but the not very bacon, much sour cream. The bacon is phenomenal; comes right through, and that smoky flavor, that is awesome. When they said smoky, yes. That's a that's a winner, mm -hmm. guys. Got to order that one. All right, we have next one that's called Pia Piatos. That's what it looks like. It's by the brand Jack and Jill. It comes from the Philippines. It says tangy tomato and nacho cheese chips with pizza flavor. Mmm. So, there you go. All right. Ooh. Pizza. <laughs> the not between the nacho and the pizza, you can smell yeah, both. Yeah, that's pizza. I smell pizza. Ooh, it yeah. smells good. I smell pizza. All right, they're just little red little chips like this. Mm -hmm. I taste pepperoni. Definitely taste the pizza. Definitely taste the pizza. That is good. The tomato. I taste pepperoni pizza. Tomato -y pizza. Mm -hmm. You know the, the 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 sauce flavor on the pizza. Mm. That is good. 
That is really good. So there's another one. Thank you, Francis. Yeah, we haven't had any one of those. Those are good. Kokomo chocolate filled biscuits. This is from <laughs> Pakistan. And it is crunchy biscuits filled with sweet chocolate cream. There's Show me back. And that's what it looks like. It's a small bag. All right. Just a little corner, but a real small one. Catch the edge. Smells like chocolate. Whoa! They're a little puffy. I didn't expect that. Yeah, I did. I knew they were a little puffy cookies. It's got a little, mine's got a little train on it. You can smell the chocolate. Mm-hmm. As soon as you bite into it, the chocolate is smooth and it busses right out of the cookie. It just, it's like a creamy chocolate. It's a creamy. And it comes yeah. right out of the cookie and just, it's awesome. It's good. It's really good. Smooth, creamy chocolate inside a crispy cookie. That's very good too. Awesome. <clears throat> this one is from Japan. And it's a mo Moringa. Yep, Moringa is the company. Uh, let's see, a Moringa Atsubu Ramu Ram Ram Ramoon, Ramoon candy. It says it's a fizzy tablet candies that something with a something tomato flavor with a Ramoon Ramoon soda flavor. That's what it says. But show them the bag. Here's the bag. As you can see, it's very hard to read. And you can see it's got the little knots there for tearing. So and you can feel it. And it has a resealable. I like when they do the resealable ones. So we just break that resealable. Right. So it's a fizzy soda mm, candy. Yeah, that smells a little lemony. It's you know what that citrus. smells like to me? Alka seltzer. Does it really? <laughs> oh, it's a white tablet. It smells like an Alka seltzer to me. <laughs> See how much it fizzes. I'm not getting much fizz at all. It's not bad though. It's like a sweet tart candy when you bite into sweet tarts. Mm -hmm. No fizzing. No, but a lot like a sweet tart. But a lot like a sweet tart. Mm -hmm. And there's no specific flavor, just sweet. Kind of like a hint of lemony. Uh... Like I tell you, when I smelled it, I thought I smelled yeah. citrus. Mm -hmm. A hint of lemon. A little bit citrusy. But exactly like a sweet tart. Very good. I like that too. We are just doing awesome here. Francis, exactly the same, only different. <laughs> Francis did an awesome job. This is called Maynard's Fancy Peachy Candy. Soft and chewy peach flavored gummies. So, let's see. I the smell of peachy. Big time peach. And I don't know if you'll want a whole one. Because they are probably kind of not. Big. It's just a sugar coated. Hopefully that's sugar coated. Because sometimes the coating on it looks like it's a sugar coated, but it's a sour coating. So we'll see. That's what it looks like. Well, let's just take a little. Oh, that's peach. And that's not sweet on the outside. That coating's a little not, sour. Not, not, not bad, but no. it's a little sour. Just barely, but it, it goes away quick. But that's very peachy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very peachy, soft gummy. The outside is a coating of a little bit of a sour, but it's awesome. I like it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care for peach okay. much, but mm -hmm. wow. I very like that. Very, yeah, very good. You didn't finish your other half. Oh, uh -oh. what a shame. I will. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, mister? I can't read it. It's Nestle's Lion 
Lion Latte Bar. It's from Poland. It's a crunchy white chocolate and wafer bar filled with latte flavor, caramel, and crunchy cereal. That's what it looks like. All right. Who doesn't like white chocolate? That's what it looks like. Very, almost looks like Rice Krispie. Yeah, but like a Rice Krispie because they're hurting. Oh my God. <clears throat> Tastes like cho uh, coffee. Does it? Well, it does show a cup on there. I'll show you. Yeah, that's, that's not for me. No white chocolate flavor to me at all. Mm -hmm. Well, it says latte. So it's a Nestle Lion latte bar. And you taste the coffee right away. That's what I got was the and coffee right away. it's overpowering that you don't mm -hmm. taste the white chocolate. Right. And, so, and there's little Rice Krispie like in it. So if you like coffee, <laughs> that's a winner. It's okay. chicken dinner. You really taste the coffee on that one. So there you go. All right, this one is from it's called Rolino. It's a white hazelnut cream filling candy. It says soft spongy cake filled with delicious hazelnut cream from Italy. So, we shall see. Soft spongy cake. This one's not very easy to open. We're gonna have to come down the side because it's stuck to the paper. All right, so, there you go. Chocolate spongy cake, it says. Oh my gosh, that's so soft. Almost smells like a liqueur. Wow. So soft. Mm -hmm. Extremely soft. I thought it was biting into a cloud. I'd call that a pudding cake, you know, like. That was awesome. Wow. That's really good. Wow. I really don't taste like hazelnut. No, not, not just a all. nice spongy cake, with like a, a cloud, of, hint of chocolatey, <laughs> with chocolate and a cream filling, but you can't taste that hazelnut. That was really good. That was good. Yeah, that I did that. Man, Francis did awesome. All righty. <laughs> this is from Japan. Moringa, fushin, fu. Don't Fush even attempt. Fushingana <laughs> Cocoa Ball co Choco Banana. <laughs> you guys try and read that. Yeah, look at the box. I mean, yeah. But what's it say on the inside and stuff right here? Read all that. That's what I did. This? Well, it's, it's, it's a crunchy chocolate ball coated with sweet banana chocolate. All right, it's from where? Japan. All right. Yep. And it's got a little, see the little gold line? It's like a pack of gum where you gotta peel that little gold. You just peel that off of it. Okay. Flip it open. Oh yeah. It smell like a uh, banana. Yeah, it's got a double thing where you can, on the lid, you can tear that. That way. You can just pour it out of yeah. one corner of it. Smell. Oh, banana. Yep. <clears throat> Little yellow. Little candy. yellow. Banana. -y. Very crunchy. crunchy. Very crunchy. Mm hmm. A hint of banana. Mm-hmm. Very banana-y. Mm-hmm. If that's even a word. 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's real banana. Mm-hmm. It okay. really comes on. Mm-hmm. And once you crunch it and start chewing it, it like all melts. It's like the outside coating is a thick, like a, instead of a chocolate coating, it's a banana coating that's really thick. And then once it hits the heat of your mouth and you start chewing, it melts. And it's just this wonderful banana, banana cream. It's just awesome. Yes. Yep. Please. <laughs> okay. All right. Then we got this one. It's called, I don't even try. This one is from <laughs> Taiwan. And I'll just read you the in ingredients. It's a bar egg yolk. It says crispy cookie bar flavored with egg yolk. Ooh. I don't know, Francis, uh -oh. you were batting a thousand, but uh -oh. <laughs> might go to hell in a handbag here real soon. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Can you smell? Uh, it smells sweet. That's all I smell is a sweetness. So it looks like this crispy. It almost looks, looks like, like a, a ch chorizo. Ch ch chorizo, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a Mexican candy, which is called chorizo, which is just like a fried little. There you go. Don't it? All right. I bet that's flaky. Do I try? <laughs> I don't know. It's got a cream in the middle. I can't make out what that cream is. It's not sweet at all. No. Not it's... at all. That's different. I can't even explain that one. I don't like it. That doesn't have much flavor, but what little flavor so what it flavor does, does have, have is not really mm. good. Mm -mm. <laughs> It's not horrible, nasty, kind of spit it out kind of thing, but almost. Yeah. Nah. I don't know. I guess maybe just the egg yolk, but it looked like it has like a cream in the center. I'm going to show it. It does. And I don't know what that cream is because it That's really the doesn't. egg yolk. Because <laughs> it doesn't tell you. It says cookie bar, crispy cookie bar flavor. What's the flavor of cookie? Cookie bar flavor. Flavor. I don't. Bar There's flavor. No this make no sense. There's no cookie flavor then, to that. And then with egg yolk. No. No, thank you. No. <laughs> so that was yeah, a downer. That's what I did. All righty, the last. Okay, candy Francis. Bar. You lost us there for a minute. This is a, a Kit Kat from Nestle's, and it's from Poland, and it's called Salted Caramel. Crunchy wafer with a layer of salted caramel covered with. <laughs> Excuse me, milk chocolate. Well, that sounds good. Sounds like Frances is going to redeem herself on yep. this one. <laughs> I saved the best for the last, I hope. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's what she looks like. Just like a Kit Kat. Yeah, no, and it's a, a lighter colored chocolate than normal. I like the chocolate. It's very mild. It's very creamy. Mm -hmm. mm, melts. It's really, really good. It's good. And it's got that it's, little wafer in right. there. Not which a is real good. strong caramel. But I it's, don't. Yeah, I don't. There's a there's a little bit of caramel, salted caramel, but not not overpowering at all. And you can, I can taste the saltiness yeah. with the mixture of the chocolate, but I don't really taste caramel. I can taste a little bit of caramel. I do. I just taste mainly the creamy chocolate with the little bit of hint of salty flavor in it. Mm -hmm. But it is good. Yep. You redeemed yourself, Francis. That's good. <laughs> There's the, All la right, the, the last, last item. item. And it's a drink. Sometimes they'll send you a drink. And we always try it right out of the box. So it's room temperature, okay? So it may be a lot better a lot when better it's cold. cold. This is by Crush, and a lot of you are familiar with the soda Crush, but this one is in the cream soda. I've never seen that before. Cream is it a so US or? Cream soda mousse. That's what it says there on the can. 
and it is from Canada. It says crisp cream. Let's try it. There you go. Pop a top again. Mm hmm. Oh, I love this. I've always loved the smell of cream soda. Mm hmm. Definitely. And it's a purple color. Definitely cream soda. The more overpowering cream soda than anything. Mm hmm I don't really... I, I like cream soda. He does. I don't really taste the berry. It's okay. It, I, I mean, for me, it's okay. Uh, you guys probably can't see that it's If a you like cream soda, you'd really color. like that. That's, that's definitely cream soda. That is good. Very good. Very fizzy. Put that in the refrigerator. I'm going to get some ice and yeah, put it on. Yeah, very fizzy. That's, that's good. Mm hmm That was yeah, good. That was good. So there you go. Francis, you did your, you outdid yourself. Everything was wonder, wonderful, with the exception of one item. Mm -hmm. So please don't send that again. <laughs> all right, we're going to get off here, guys. We're going to wrap all this up, put it back in the box, and send it off to the grandkids. So they love it. When they love when these. we send them yeah. all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And they'll have fun doing their little taste tests. All right, guys, remember to always let go like God. No guts, no glory, and... Mr. That Is. God bless you all, and thank you much, Pat. See you next time. Bye, guys.